Hello. Class here, Final Fantasy VIII. In the last part, we beat a boss and time compression happened, and now there are a bunch of fake save points. Only the one at the front of the room actually works. Um, I can't move yet. Alright, we see many of Idea. And it's fighting time again. So this is four non-random encounters without access to the world map. <laughs> See, you have, you have Aga spells. Um, I'm not sure how intimidating this enemy is that I should be worried. Uh, in the walkthrough I was looking at, they didn't even have a um, boss box. Still, they don't have healing magic on them. So, I can't just draw forever. Oh, more are coming? Uh, that's bad. I wasn't ready for that. So yeah, let's uh, not stall at all. Meteor Stone. That probably becomes Meteor if you have the right stuff. Also, these are like exclusively casting magic. Where's my shell? I don't think I'm gonna burn like a haste or anything here. Let's shell everyone. I'm gonna keep Squall attacking though. Someone else can shell him. Is this battle music unique? Wow, we're so intimidated by your 100 damage thunder. Alright, we killed one. There's another. Uh, so I believe this battle is going to go on for 11 of them. And the last one will be extra powerful. Ultima Stone. Camera didn't know what to do there. So let's use an actual Aga level cure here. Because we're shelled, so we kind of need it to actually get good recovery. And I believe soon I'm going to have access to just drawing them from enemies natively. Another meteor stone. I, I should maybe check periodically if like these have different draw lists from each other. Okay, you're just the offensive Aga spells. All right, here's another of them. <laughs> if you don't know what's coming, this battle must feel absolutely ridiculous. I guess Quistus should probably throw a Cura on herself. You've got more max HP than that. Oh, actually... Oh, nice, another Ultima Stone. Yeah, the Cura still does pretty well. 
It's another one! So I believe I've killed... Four? I wish they didn't do the full animation of appearing every time, but I guess they're also changing the scenery. It's somewhat cutscene-worthy. I wonder if focusing my attacks even helps with how soon they replace them, though. It might make sense to have Zell always target the new one that hasn't been stolen from. Although, the steal rate from them seems pretty high anyway. Actually getting the steals hasn't been a problem. Yeah, because it's not like focusing down one actually gives you like any relief from there being two of them. Am I targeting the new one? Doesn't matter. Couldn't steal. First time this battle we've gotten that message. Oh, my shells have worn off, apparently. Although, don't you know- No, that was just a physical attack! I was gonna say, don't you normally get a message when shell wears off? Yeah, Shell's still there. Wow, one actually died without being stolen from. And it's immediately replaced! Is this one being more magic-y? Yeah, it even looks way different. Okay, so that must be the last one. Wait, Christus should have healed Zell there. I think Zell will cure Zell. Except it's gonna do, like, barely anything, isn't it? Or no, he has... Well, it kinda did barely anything, actually. Oh, I missed the timing! Yeah, I just remembered I swapped Squall and Zell's magics around last episode. Oh, double. I think that needs Dispelled. But I'm gonna have Quist to still heal. Zell will be the Dispeller. Because Quistus heals for more. I'm kind of gambling on Zell getting a turn before the enemy gets a turn. Oh. Well, they got a turn. But they physically attacked instead of casting magic while they have double. Uh, there's the spell. So I believe we didn't get to mug that one either, but I'm fine with it. Oh! There are still more of... Oh. I should have killed the one on the left first. Rather than having two of the strong ones out at the same time. Okay, shell's wearing off, and I think we need to Asuna that. I just want to keep Shell on in case they do something big. Since it reduces my healing, it doesn't really help the healing versus damage formula. It's more like doubling my max HP. And current HP, I guess. I don't even know what status they're putting on, but... Alright, another Ultima Stone. I wish I knew how much health these had. Okay, you cast double on the other one. And then attacked. Alright. Right now I'm not gonna worry about the status. I don't know what it is. 
but I'm not worried. Alright, shells have been wearing off. I need to reapply that. Maybe I need to apply protect. They're physically in physically attacking so much. Yes. Also known as physically ing. Or physicaling. I think I tried to combine both words and it didn't work. I wonder if that's Vit Zero status. Which also happens to be Spirit Zero. I haven't been shelling Squall, but. I'll pretend it's fine. There are more? <laughs> really? So is it... Seven weak ones, three strongish ones, and then one final strong one? I just... I don't remember what I read in the walkthrough. Are we back at Ifrit Cave? How nostalgic. Oh, I think Zell's dead. That's fine, we'll full life him. Oh right, double. Let's see, Squall's turn, you attack. I'm kinda running low on full life. I've never had a good opportunity to just, like, draw huge stacks of it. I think it would have been the best thing to junction onto HP if I- oh. Uh, if I did have more opportunity to draw it. Ow, 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 ow. That nearly killed Zell from full. You're not dead, which you're not. Am I gonna have to Mega Potion during this encounter? I might. That does a ton of damage! Oh, well, Zell's down again. Alright. If the next one isn't coming out immediately, I am gonna heal up a little. Also, I should remove the double. Should have done that a while ago, actually. I don't know why I would prefer any of these over, like, the others. Wow. Damages. We don't have any full life? Alright. Quistus is healing through a shell. So, I'm preferring for her to cure a guy herself and Squall to just cast a normal one. Or rather, Akira, which is apparently the normal cure spell now. Casting cure a guy is extraordinary. I think we definitely cast Protect here. They've been using a lot of physicals. And unlike Shell, it doesn't even reduce my healing done. Flare. What's this, please? Okay.
Yeah, that can't actually stay up enough that I'm willing to use Squall's turn. We got buffed! Oh, you don't have a shell right now. I was gonna apply it next turn, but I th think I'm gonna prefer to cure and then apply it. Squall, you need to attack more. You're the one that deals damage. Zell has no defensive buffs right now. I think I'm gonna throw a haste at some point soon, too. This is a more serious encounter than I first realized. Let's see, does one of them have double right now, or did I remove it? Oh, apparently the one that's currently on the right has double. Wow, he's down again. Uh, haste, that's what I wanted to do. She's down. Am I gonna die here? This has been a long fight. It's been the whole episode. Oh, you don't have the item command. I, uh, was going to use a phoenix down instead of casting life. Okay, at least Squall has both defensive buffs up right now. That can't stay on. You need hit points before any defensive magic makes sense. Now that might have been excessive without shell up. Alright, that's the one that still has double. Now that neither of them have double. Okay, you're casting double again. I need a third person up, but I need to make sure the people that I raise actually live before I can try to heal a third person. Yeah, I don't like this, like, trading a turn for a turn, because I'm wasting a resource in a Dispel cast. They're not wasting a resource by putting up double. Alright. Here's your shell. Here's your protect. So we have... Two fully buffed people right now. And neither of the opponents are buffed. Spend what, our third full life of the battle? Fourth? Oh. 
I'll do this on the one I haven't been hitting. Because I think it'll be a kill anyway. Or maybe I've hit both of them. I would like it if I could kill both of them, like, close to each other. So I'm not having to deal with the end one at the same time as one of these. Or maybe these are the end ones. Did we win? No, there's another one. I guess if this one wasn't gonna come out until both of those were dead, I should have buffed up Zell. Meteor Stone? Alright. Whoa! And that wasn't just like a reduced to one attack. That was genuine damage. I think that was the protect animation. No, five. Um, we clearly need to heal up quickly. You know, Mega Potions are there to be used. Kinda wish I would still have more for later, but it can't be helped. Let's see, you don't have Shell or Protect right now. Think. Or maybe she's still got protect. Oh, wait, no. Protect War Off? Is that it? I can't keep track of my buffs. Well, I hope that I survive whatever's being counted down to. There's a lot of shaking that's going on. I should have probably cured Quistus another time. Maybe like threw a high potion at her with Zill. All right, Squall died. Um... Zell's dead. This is looking bad. Also, did Squall take more than his max HP from that Ultima? Maybe he didn't have shell at the time. Oh, the countdown is happening again. I think we just leave Zell on the floor. He'll be fine there. Wait, this is Squall's turn. Mistimed. Okay, Quistus has no buffs. Definitely needs Shell, in case she's our only person that can survive Ultima. Already to two? I've gotten like two turns. I should have maybe just saved Quistus' turn for healing immediately after the Ultima. Eh, it's mostly full again anyway. Alright, Squall takes more than his max HP through a shell. Confirmed. Wait, was that targeting Zell or Squall? It was targeting Zell. I 
I mean, if all you do is cast Ultima repeatedly after countdowns, I don't need to shell Zell or Squall, and I don't need to heal them up. Oh, that should have been a limit break. I think we get one more turn before the countdown, though. One? And the limit break's not available. Yours is. Oh, but you're dead. Target Squall. Maybe that should have been life on Zell. I feel as if this attack is going to make me win. No, maybe not. It's not like I'm hitting for over a thousand per hit, even. Oh, he's... she's killing Squall again. Of course, this is shell just wears off with a bad timing and we lose the fight. Oh, wait. We have our limit break again. Okay, she has shell right now. Flare holy. Interesting draw list. Glad I checked it, I guess. Haste on self? Okay, there's the Ultima before the shell wore off. Don't know why it targets Zell by default. Okay, there's the shell wearing off. Here I go, well, shell's down, and then shell. Oh, let it break again. I mean, only casting life instead of full life is getting us tons of extra damage in the form of these limit breaks. I'm liking the strategy. I'm not liking the fight, though. See, I guess raising... no, just... Ah! You count down so fast! I was thinking raising Zell just so that he attacks twice might be more effective than actually just having Quistus attack. Oh, we won. Yeah, but then once I saw the counting down, I didn't want to do any menuing. Plus, like, once the count was to one or two, I didn't I didn't want to try raising Zell. Just attacking made more sense. Anyway, we won. Glad we did, because I'd hate to repeat that fight ever. The problem of RPGs. They're bad. Flare Stones, Ultima Stones, Holy Stone... 55 AP! Lots of stuff was learned. And we're somewhere. I was gonna backtrack to the save point. But that's not what we just came from. Alright. Heal up, just in case something bad happens. We're at question mark. 
Is this like some side room I never went to, or... Wait, maybe this is before everything broke down. Yeah. And then the beach is over here. No. This way? That's a weird pixel in the dirt there. Oh. All right, so we have a cutscene. Future seeds, we are fighting across generations. Ultimisia's reign. We have to end it now. Uh, can we, like, maybe go save now, actually? Um, I can't even seem to backtrack out of this screen. Okay, I can't inspect the bodies. Where do I go from here? Hey, it's a drop point. Triple. This perspective is weird. <laughs> okay. It feels more normal once you get up to the top part of the screen. Hmm. Interesting. It's a save point! Alright! So, that's it for this part. We won a battle that in a walkthrough wasn't even mentioned as in a boss box, but it was definitely a boss to us. <laughs> um, in the next part, I guess we're going inside the castle. See ya!